This is my disclaimer. I'm not a doctor, so this is not professional medical opinion. If you need a doctor, you go to the doctor. And if you think you need a doctor or you have the symptoms, you go to the doctor and go to the ER immediately. Do not take this video as medical advice. I'm not a doctor. I have no medical training. Thank you. Aloha everybody, Gabe here from the Hawaii Institute of Self-Reliance, His Survival. Welcome back, thank you for watching. Today's video is about rat lung and living in Hawaii. Now rat lung is from Asia and it is a parasite nematode that attacks the brain and the spinal cord. The symptoms are fever, vomiting, and all sorts of uh, uh, stiffness, uh, paralysis, uh, being you know paralyzed. Um, and of course do your own research uh, and look up this disease it is pretty gnarly and I'm about to give you an account a second-hand account because I've had three friends maybe four I would say three to four friends that have actually had this happen to them had this disease and I've talked to three of them uh, extensively about it you know I'm, I'm curious about it so I don't get it and so this is a, a, a parasite and it, like I said it attacks your brain and attacks your nervous system and attacks your spinal cord and my friends have said that it like separates the gums from the teeth and your teeth bleed you you can't move you're in bed for like two to three weeks uh, you can't wipe your ass, that's how bad it is. Um, you vomit, um, you have diarrhea, uh, stiffness, soreness, pain, uh, you're thinking you're gonna die. And I think, depending on how old you are, of course, I, you know, you, you might have it more severe and it might actually kill you. And you have fever, and it's just really hard to keep food down. So, uh, how do you not get this disease? Um, well, supposedly this is how it happens. You have rats, and they poop, and then there's a slug that goes over the poop, and that creates um, this disease, and then the slug will get into your water catchment, your water source, basically, or on a leaf of lettuce, and you eat with a sandwich, even though you wash it off, there might be a little slug in one of the curls of your, your uh, your lettuce and your salad or something like that and you eat that and then the parasites are in you and they go right for your brain and right for your spinal cord so this is not good and I'll talk about supposedly the cure later in the video I will give you a cure that you may be kind of interested in and um, I've had three friends that have said that this worked so I'm not a doctor like I said in my disclaimer I'm not a doctor and this is just a second-hand account of um, uh, my friends. So luckily I have not got it. Now, so what you have to do is you have to wash your vegetables really well before you eat them and make sure there's no slugs. And you have to make sure your water source is good and you don't drink the water. It's kind of like Mexico or like Thailand or something like that. You just don't want to drink the water. It's like a meningitis um, it's, it's just gnarly. It's a bad, bad thing. And you will probably never be the same afterwards if you survive. Now, you just have to be clean, right? Um, make sure there's no slugs around and keep the rat population down as much as possible in, in the area that you live in. Uh, and that's really hard. So, you know, it's Hawaii and, and rats and mongoose and every animal around here, they just thrive because there's, there's just so much food and it's just a comfortable weather. So there's never like a really cold point, um, uh, especially where I live, uh, where like the mosquitoes die out. You know, it might, they might lessen, but it doesn't necessarily kill them off completely. You will always have mosquitoes year round and I'm about a thousand foot elevation. So you just have to be really clean and make sure your water source doesn't have any slugs, there's no rats, um, wash your lettuce real good, even if you get it from the store, uh, and especially if you have it in um, your garden, 
because there's a lot of slugs here and the slugs love to eat your little saplings or your little um, sprouts or your you know little seeds and so they um, get in the garden now you could have a like a lettuce bed right raised lettuce bed and copper on the legs or around the lettuce bed for instance and that would keep the slugs uh, away because the slugs don't like to go um, on copper but that's not a hundred percent you just got to wash your lettuce real good and your vegetables real good make sure there's no slugs now I said earlier that there is a cure supposedly and three of my friends have used this uh, chaga chai tea uh, or chaga tea right will cure rat lung disease and if you look it up uh, it does have some benefit to the nervous system, chaga tea, right? And this is that, uh, you know, the mushroom that grows on trees and it's all over the mainland. It's becoming a rave um, or uh, it's becoming very popular. Um, I've noticed, uh, you know, chaga tea, uh, kombucha and all these different drinks, these healthy drinks, um, um, you know, using mushrooms or, or um, you know, some kind of healthy uh, uh, herb or something like that has become more popular in the mainland. I really dig that. So, supposedly, chaga tea helps fight rat lung. And I'm not a doctor. I'm going to say it again. I have no medical training. I'm not even a, a nurse or a dentist. You know, <laughs> I'm not. I'm just, I'm just not. I've never taken anything but health class in high school. Um, <clears throat> so that's about it. I know CPR, <laughs> or I, I have my uh, food handler's permit. <laughs> no, so uh, <clears throat> um, yeah, supposedly chaga ta, chai or excuse me, chaga uh, tea um, is uh, useful for rat lung. So I hope you like this video. I hope you share this video. And I hope you comment. I love all your comments and I'll answer any questions I can. And please hit that red subscribe button for further videos. And until next time, Hello. Ha! Stay safe out there.